Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another pre-top eight day three interview here at Genesis number six in Oakland, California. I'm Rod the Dudge, and I'm standing next to arguably the most controversial man right now on Smash Twitter, Liquid's very own Salem. Man, how you feeling about Genesis six? Uh, very exciting tournament. I wish I could do a little bit better, but right now I'm just researching. <laughs> The research never stops, man. But let's let's actually throw it back and do a little bit of research ourselves. Let's talk about your winner side of things. Let's talk about your loser side of things. Uh, winner side, there wasn't much going on to like K9. Literally just K9. I was just like, oh, this is the one matchup I haven't done yet. <laughs> like every time there's like a matchup I haven't done yet, it's, it makes things a little awkward because I know what the character does is just like. The, the player's play style though, that's, a, that's an entirely different story because I, I, I haven't studied that that much. I've only st really studied the characters themselves. Wow. I definitely got you. I, I got to say, man, as a fraudulent Link main to a professional Link main, you're, you're starting to be one of my heroes, all right? Because like back at home, I go from Rod the Dutch to Fraud the Dutch really quick in bracket. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, but let's talk about the loser side of bracket. I mean, of course, you know, winner side went very, very well for you, but let's talk about the losers end of the spectrum. How are you feeling about that as we look back at it in retrospect? I, <laughs> you, can that, real, you can be real with your boy. That, that was extremely exhausting, for one, but uh, I, I had to go real serious there. I, 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 I pretty much just switched to all Lucy 9 losers because mm -hmm. I was just like, uh, playing Link, it's a little difficult, okay. and I need to just start swinging. Hey, look. Because <laughs> that's what Lucy 9 does, and not to mention, having like sword anti airs is so much better. Mm -hmm. But uh, I fought like Umeki, Lurie, and then I lost to Captain Zack. Mm. Like first of Umeki, oh, that should have been on streak. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. it actually should have been on streak. Like if you saw that, because I was down to, by two and I counterpicked Lilac. Mm. And you know pre-patch, mm. Peach up B don't work correctly. Mm. On his last stock, right. he didn't grab the let. <laughs> he didn't grab the let. It was like last hit there too and I got him off stage and the one time he got really close to the ledge and tried to up it he didn't grab it I was just like okay that was a breath of fresh air <laughs> like afterwards I started picking up momentum even though it was like just a very little bit and then last last game was an another last hit situation I just like mm -hmm. yellow back here to win and hey, like generally oh, that was extremely exhausting and but first is Lurie it, it wasn't too much work, it's just yeah. Fox things. I, 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 I forgot that when you were fighting Fox, you just hold shield a whole lot. There you go. Like, it, it's pretty basic knowledge, but yeah. <laughs> just didn't think about it. The first time I, I was fighting the Fox players, mm. that time I just was like, okay. I just hold shield, yeah. wait, up the other shield. Yeah. Of course, I lost like one game, I believe. Oh. I think it was like 3-1, like I beat them. Well, the game I lost was on Battlefield. Because, oh, like, how it works is, like, if you take too much damage okay. at a certain point before, like, taking their stock, then it's just like, okay, well, they're at a bigger advantage than you, so it's harder to just bring it back. Because, right. like, the game before that, before he won, I was like, okay, well, basically it's even, even if he's doing more damage on me, because, like, right. I can kill him easily. Fox has to deal with me holding shield all day. Mm. <laughs> And then the games afterwards, I just was like, okay, well, I'm just going to win because I, I figured out the play style. <laughs> there you go, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's that years of research that you talk so highly <laughs> of on Twitter. Um, so let me ask you this. So you obviously had a phenomenal winner's bracket, had a phenomenal loser's bracket. Was there, like, any pre, like, game rituals that you do, generally speaking? You don't got to go into too much detail, but just generally speaking, is there, like, any way that you get yourself mentally prepared to, you know, do an event as big as Genesis? Uh, currently, not too much. Like, the best I've had is just like some small notes because like mm -hmm. I haven't like did that too much. Like have actual notes and I'm like starting to do it now. Okay. So in the long term, it's going to help a lot okay. because like I'm gonna have like notes on like every single player and just be look look through my phone. Just but okay, I have this. This person does that. All, right. I, I, all I have to do is this. Go cool, this character, mm -hmm. and I can just win. Like it's really it's really that simple. It's just sometimes I'm just, I just autopilot. I'm just like. I'm just gonna be stubborn. I'm just, I'm just gonna play this character, and just I'm just gonna play Link. I'm just gonna try and fight Wolf, and oh. just nair at his nair and lose because I nared early. <laughs> Silly things like that. I was just like, okay, well, I could just hmm. be smart and just play Lucina and just win. Right, but like, <laughs> but 
this isn't the norm for me, so I'm just like, okay, well, I gotta get out of my comfort zone. That's right. Most definitely, man. I think that's uh, exactly where greatness starts. You know, why be comfortable when you can be great? And I got, so you talked about notes, right? <clears throat> I got a couple of your tweets saved in my notes, all right? Let's talk about it, man. You ready? You ready to goon this up? So, <clears throat> how you feeling about Leffert, man? I'm asking the questions. How, how you feeling about it? And you could be real with me, man. It's Black History Month. We don't got a sense or nothing. How you feeling about it? <laughs> you need to calm down. But, uh, let me think. I don't think he's going to last very long in this game. Okay. Because, like, the only reason why he even did well at all at this tournament is because, one, he, he basically complained about Cena the entire time till he got a good bracket. That's basically what happened. I was like, okay, well, you got it. Like, I generally don't care about seeding, even though I should, I probably should, to be honest. Well, yeah. Because, like, a lot of people care about seeding, but, but I usually just, like, oh, whatever, I don't care who's in my way, I just play the game. But, like, if it's really that important, I guess. Because, like, one of my brackets before they were changed, I had or Armada, and I was, like, really excited for that, and then it got changed. I was just like, oh. I guess I don't get to fight Armada. Thanks, Leffin. <laughs> So that's the only reason why I'm just like a little bit annoyed about seeding, just because if, if I want to like fight certain players in bracket, okay. like even if it's like just for fun, like even though it's like tournaments, you know how you just like mm -hmm. I still want to fight this person because it's going to be fun and exciting right. for it, like everyone. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I definitely feel that. So <clears throat> when's that left and versus Salem money match? When will we get? Are you gonna free him up? Right? You gonna free him up? He he doesn't want to fight me. Oh. Like, oh, and, and why is that? Mm -hmm. he, 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 like, if you just look at his tweets, and apparently he, he thinks, I want to do this just to get in something. I don't care about something like that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> common sense. I just want to see what's up. If he's good, he's good. If he's bad, now I'm going to say he's bad. Mm -hmm. Like, it's as simple as that. But he doesn't want to fight me. The other me melee players do, though, okay. which is interesting. Like, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do money matches, whatever, with them. Uh, like, I'm up for that. Yes. Like, anytime, anywhere, just set it up. Well, hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, we could get that money match. The class of two Evo champions taking it from Twitter into real life. But until then, this concludes another Smash Heroes interview here at Genesis Number 6. It's Rod the Dust once more with the legendary Liquid Salem. We are out.